Mississippi. We're coming at you live from KLLM Transport Services, talking about human trafficking. And wrapping up the show today, the Attorney General of the great state of Mississippi, Lynn Fitch, and CEO and President of KLLM Trucking, uh, Mr. Jim Richards, joining us again. It's It's been uh, an informative and uh, a good day of uh, uh, the scourge of human trafficking is bad, it is abhorrent, it is appalling, but it is so good to see it get the attention and focus uh, that it needs, General. And again, highlighting this, this private-public partnership uh, between your office, uh, Sean Tindall at the Department of Public Safety, and of course, the private sector with the uh, the trucker, the truckers, the associations, the convenience stores. This is what it's all about, and this is the only way we're going to fight this stuff. Absolutely. Today was a great day. I'm so appreciative of everybody rallying together to have the hard conversation because it's, this is horrific. But to have the conversation that we can all step up and be a part of ending it, being a part of the solution. Yeah. Um, and to have the partners is just incredible. I'm so appreciative to KLLM for hosting us. And, and the truck, the wraps are just Looks incredible. Great. Yeah. Um, and when those are out going across our highways uh, across the country, think of the lives that can be touched because somebody is going to see that 1-800 number and call in and rescue some individuals. So it's just been a tremendous day. Uh, we heard a number of speakers. We had an opportunity to, to visit and talk about, you know, everybody's got a part of this. And yeah. every one of us should be challenged to step up and to do that. And I just want to say, again, to Super Talk, thank you all for being a part of the solution. Thank you for today to uh, broadcast remote with us. Uh, that's just a game changer because that information is going out. People are listening. They know what's been going on today. And they, too, are upset that we have human trafficking going on in our state. But now now everybody knows and let's just go to work to end it yeah it's been at first it's been our pleasure and honor and, and thanks to the super top management uh for making this happen i kind of got the notification i think late on friday wasn't it uh uh alex so uh anyhow appreciative for that and and for being here and jim uh thank you sir for for hosting this event and for all the great things your company does uh, with respect to fighting human trafficking, uh, tell me, how, how do your drivers and your employees, how do they feel about your company getting involved and getting behind this? Well, they obviously, uh, you, you know, I'll tell you something about truck drivers that uh, that you'll find. You being one. Uh, well, I, I'm not, I, I at one time from college, and they taught me how to drive. That's what I understand. Yep. You don't want me behind the wheel today, <laughs> Gerard. Uh, but uh, you know, the fact of the matter is, is generally speaking, you will find truck drivers the type of individuals that always want to help. Yes. Uh, if there's an accident on the road, they're the first one to lend help, and yeah. so uh, they really get excited about opportunities like this to make a difference in people's lives. And they're all, you know, people that drive trucks, uh, they they tend to be uh, individuals yeah. and and very strong-willed, and and but they look for opportunities to help people and and uh so they 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 enjoy it um uh, we've been teaching uh you know human trafficking uh in our orientations now for uh about eight years uh and and there's it, it's it's um uh, it's always interesting because it's, it's kind of an eye-opener like it was today yeah uh so uh you know the more we can do to bring awareness to this uh i'll tell you um you know attorney general contacted me and asked could we help uh, with this, and I was honored to be able to do that. Um, her office has done an excellent job just bringing this to the forefront. Uh, I hope that today's event uh, was one of many to come uh, in our state. I think we need to continue to talk about it. It can't be a one and done. Uh, and, uh, and educating people, because I tell you what, I learned a lot today. Uh, I had no idea. Yeah, and that's the way I've been. Every every time I interview the general or, or attend an event or, or other folks involved in in, uh, in fighting human trafficking, law enforcement, the Center for Prevention, uh, Violence Prevention, and so forth, I, I just get an eye-opening uh, education. General, what did you think about uh, the victim who spoke today? Uh, what a brave lady she is to even stand in front of people and tell that story. What are your thoughts on that? Oh, goodness, it melted my heart. I mean, just such a courageous, brave individual to do that. And she touched lives today. That makes us all even more ingrained in the fight because when you hear it, you really know it's real. Yeah. You know that it's happening across our state. And to see this young, young woman to be able to stand up, talk about her trials and tribulations, uh, really puts a, a, a face, puts her uh, exploitation uh, right out front and center, what she went through. and then it, But it makes us all stop and go, wait a minute. 
this is someone that we have helped along the way. And how can we help all those other victims that are somebody's sister or daughter or grandchild or whatever the case might be? And, and as Jim said, this isn't a one and done. We have to continue to have this conversation because if you look at all the partners that were certainly a part today, those that were sitting in the audience, it requires all of us to step up. Their safe havens, their mental health, their counseling, you know, their workforce. What's the next step for them? So that's on all of us to be there and to be empowering to these young individuals. Absolutely. I firmly believe that with the combination of your office, with Department of Public Safety and uh, the private sector, such as KLM Trucking, we'll do some good. Uh, to fight this scourge of human trafficking. We so appreciate you guys uh, joining us for the final segment, and it has been an honor uh, to be associated with this event today from the folks at Super Talk, Gerard Gibbert of the JT Show, Rhino and I.